uh, from a from a regulator's perspective, whenever people come to us and propose various types of banking businesses, whether we're talking about uh, a trade finance bank or lending um, or, or investment banking or advisory or asset management, we tend to start from the basics. At the end of the day, a digital bank is still a bank. So just because you're talking about blockchain or you're talking about cryptos doesn't change the fact that you are going to be taking in deposits and you will be extending credit, hopefully, if, if that is the plan. So I would say from a regulator's perspective, 90, 95% of our conversations and views are the boring old things which have started to happen from 6,000 years back. So... From an innovation perspective, we generally tend to look at it from the perspective that, yes, innovation is good, but the basics remain the same. You still have to have controls. You still have to have experienced people. You still need to have uh, KYC, AML, so on and so forth. The final thing that I'm going to say about the innovation piece is um, when you are looking at new business models, and believe you me, uh, we have seen some really, really interesting ones where a lot of them have already gone live. Uh, for example, we host the world's first pure digital trade finance bank, and there are many more who are in the application phase and should get approved shortly. Um, there are some very interesting pieces that are coming out, and, and we, we, we welcome those kind of interesting business cases. Our regulations are designed so that we can handle um, uh, these new business models, as long as the core of banking remains the same.